All I want to do now is to show you a few very brief examples. So here is a pre-prepared script. All I'm going to do first of all is to go into SQL Plus and show all the indexes I have under my current user. Most of these indexes are actually referential integrity, primary key and foreign key indexes with a few extra ones. First thing I want to do is to create a composite index, I've called it XAK Composite 1. On the show table it's a composite index because it has two columns and it's actually a B-tree index because I don't specify bitmap or anything else. So let's create that composite index and that one's fine. And now let's go and create a unique index on the show table on all four of these columns and also I'm going to compute statistics for this index during the creation of the index. Much more efficient than creating the index and then using the analyze command or DBMS stats or local enterprise manager to generate the statistics afterwards. Assuming this is fairly static you don't necessarily have to regenerate indexes on a regular basis. Otherwise there's probably not much point in using that option. Now let's go and create a bitmap index and as we can see using the online option it says I may not build or rebuild this type of index namely a bitmap online so be wary of using bitmaps you cannot rebuild or restructure a bitmap index with the online option in other words you risk creating conflict with existing activity particularly existing DML and SQL select statement activity when regenerating that index you really need to switch access off to the underlying tables when regenerating bitmaps. Now let's go and create what I wanted to create as a bitmap index. Online I have to create it as a b-tree so we'll prove the point we can actually create it as a b-tree. We cannot create a bitmap index online. Remember that one. It's very important when deciding whether to use bitmap indexes or not. Now let's go and create a bitmap index but not using the online option and using compute statistics. And the reason why that gives me an error is because I've already created an index on that column, which is an interesting point to make. I could obviously create it on another column, which does not have an index as of yet. Now, if I went and ran my index query again, as you can see, I have a lot more indexes now that I've just created, and some with multiple columns. Here we go, there's one. I don't, unfortunately, have the position column on the screen. I could make this query look a lot better by adding some column commands and we can then see the position column. As you can see, for instance, this composite index here on the show table is made up of position one, two, category, and show, show within category. 